which home improvements pay off. Hello, I'm Catherine Weir with Coldwell Banker Bain and today I want to talk to you about which home renovations pay off and which you are better off leaving to the next person when it comes time to sell your home. What many people don't realize is that although beautiful kitchens and bathrooms certainly help to sell houses, not doing basic maintenance and repairs on a home are really the crux of what a potential buyer is looking for. I see many homes that have had the interiors renovated when, when it comes to the roof or siding. It is obvious to see that these items need work. Buyers cannot get past a home that needs basic upkeep no matter how nice the interior. That means that the best money that you can spend on your house is the boring stuff, the roof and the siding. If the exterior looks solid, then buyers will feel comfortable getting into the interior. Buyers want to take basic systems for granted. They assume the roof doesn't leak and air conditioning and plumbing work. Maintenance can chew up a lot of cash quickly and people are afraid of that. Next, of course, when it comes to updates is the kitchen. You can spend hundreds of thousands of dollars updating your kitchen and I'm here to tell you it probably does not need that much work. Paint, countertops, a backsplash can go a really long way and are relatively inexpensive. Another quick update is to change the hardware on the cabinets to whatever is on trend right now, which is brass or black at the moment. However, if you're planning on being in your house for a while, then make it amazing and what you want, as buyers do love a beautiful kitchen. This also goes for an amazing master bathroom too. These are the two places in the interior that potential home buyers love to see updated and functional and are prepared to pay top dollar for the house when the time comes to sell. Adding more room or another bedroom can definitely bump up your home's future sales price. If your house has the room or ability to add more space with the addition or bumping up into the attic, this could be a great use to you as the homeowner and also when the time comes to sell. Conversely, adding a home theatre or taking away a bedroom is going to have the opposite effect. If you make your home too specific for just you, then you will have a tougher time selling it when the time comes. My suggestion is make sure you can easily convert back or take away those changes so that you can still get broad appeal and top dollar from any prospective buyers when the time comes. Finally, curb appeal. A nice front yard, a clean patio and welcoming exterior go a really long way to enticing a buyer. Make sure the driveway is pressure washed, the plants or trees trimmed, leaves blown and the house generally has a welcoming facade. This is also fairly inexpensive, but will make buyers slow down and get out of the car and take a look. There's nothing worse than an overgrown and dark front yard for buyers and they will just keep on driving. If you are thinking of any home renovations, connect with me and ask me where I think the value is, either for yourself to enjoy or for future resale, as do not forget, these can be two entirely different things. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.